Hey, this is Sean from the product team here at Soundcraft. You're watching our how-to video series on our 1.6 software updates. Today, I'll be showing you our select follow solo function, momentary ons, and knob bubble pin. The 1.6 software update gives some new workflow features that can improve and quicken your workflow. One such feature is select follow solo, where every time you press solo, the same channel will be selected, as, we, as you see here on the console. Another improvement is momentary ons. This allows you to do things like talkback and shout buses. When there's a channel off, simply press and hold and it will only momentarily go on. The same is true for buses, allowing you to use shout buses. Finally, the knob bubble pin is when you have a detailed screen up, such as frequency information on EQ or on a graph EQ, and you can pin the screen and so you can see all the values. To use Select Follow Solos, go into the Solo menu, scroll down to the Select Follow Solos, and enable it. Now, when you go through your surface, when you press the Solo button, the corresponding channel or track will also be selected as well. The Momentary On feature in the 1.6 software update allows you to have talkback and shout buses where you momentarily hold it down. To do this, it's already enabled out of the box. All you have to do is disable a channel, and then, when you press and hold it, it will only be a momentary on. The on can still get, be enabled by just pressing it and disabled by pressing again. The same is also true on Mix Masters. Here I have Mix 8 as, as, a, as a Mix Master on layer C. If this is my shout bus, I can disable it and then use momentary on as an audition bus. The last feature we're going to talk about in this video is knob bubble pinning. Knob bubble pinning is when the screen stays up by pressing the touch screen. To do this, all you have to do is press the screen and it, you'll see a push pin appear by the knob bubble where all your values are displayed. This is very good, for instance, for graphic EQs. So here we go. If I go down to my graphic EQ, you'll see that it'll stay there as I'm adjusting all my bands and it will stay up for the duration. I can even go to another parameter, such as a compressor, and it will stay up and I can adjust values and it will stay up the whole time. And it will stay up until you press the screen again and it goes away. Thanks for watching this edition of our how-to video series. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook for more videos. Until next time.